did it happen? How did the world get swallowed up so quickly? It was because we had our eyes closed. Even when we could see. And we let them get too close. It had been 30 years since my mother was killed by a Triffid. She was trying to understand them. I've been doing the same ever since. For me, it's always been personal. For the rest of the world, the Triffids were simply a practical solution. They contained an oil that quickly replaced fossil fuels. Triffids became man's best friend. But they didn't see the consequences. And I couldn't get them to listen. I'm disconnecting this Triffid. Confirmed. Triffid tether deactivated. Dr. Mason, you're clear to start your reaction test. Trying to get something else out of the troops, Dr. Bill? Well, yeah. I suppose I am. Do you really think they can actually hear? More like they can feel sound waves. Action time. If it is getting faster with every new generation, they seem to be evolving on their own. Uh, Lucy. Yeah. Tizer. Oh, sorry. Breeding Triffids for their oil came at a price. The oil companies were forced to lock them away and keep the world in the dark. Vehicle wedge check. Sir, can I see your papers? There were those who thought we shouldn't interfere with Mother Nature. yet were ignorant to the danger that waited inside the refinery walls. Waiting for the chance to be free. Security breach. Received and understood. Head of the Triffid. Do not enter the orchard without backup. It never last that long. I'm going in now. All units to the orchard immediately. Head of security needs urgent assistance. Get back! Stay back! Or she gets it again! What goes on in here then, huh? What are you hiding? Put the glasses back on and then we can talk. Glasses? Please, put them on. Please. I don't think so. Put mine on, huh? Please. You do. I know who you are. Dr. Bill Mason. I bet the Triffids know exactly what you are. 
You should listen to them, Doctor. Huh? Might learn something. Instead of stealing their oil, mixing with their genes. What's wrong? You lost your tongue. Huh? You got an opinion, Doctor? You. Must have been a young plant. Venom sac's not fully developed yet. You hold on in there, Dr. Bill. We'll be in London soon. They say it will be the greatest light show ever. Northern lights seen as far south as Hawaii, a veritable rainbow of comets. But is it another result of the global cooling Trippett scientists have been boasting about or something else? With me is astrophysicist Edward Vorlis. Welcome, Professor. So tell me, do we have the Triffids to thank for the fireworks too? Oh, we can certainly thank the Triffids, or at least their marvelous oil for saving us from global warming. But the fireworks, no. So what is the cause? The sun. Tonight we will see its true power. It will unleash a solar storm, an unbelievably vast explosion of gas and nuclear fire that will send billions of tons of irradiated plasma shooting towards the Earth. And is there any risk to us, any precautions we should take? Only if you are a satellite. We humans will suffer no harm. We should sit back and enjoy the fireworks. Well, thank you, Professor. So tonight we'll be covering this phenomenon from around the globe. My bosses are even putting me on camera. You know, you people should come clean how dangerous these plants are. Tell me, why do triffids always go for the eyes? I don't know. Well, you should find out. As I'd say, you have a 50-50 chance of losing your sight. Or of keeping it. Hello, I'm Joe Platon, coming to you from the heart of London. And the sky really is quite spectacular. It's like the Aurora Borealis, only a lot brighter. We can see the bloody sky, Joe. Talk to some people. Get them on camera. Three. Then we're going to go to Sydney. Jim, you're up. Joe, bring him in. Millions of miles away. Later, I'll be talking to people here and getting their reactions. But now, let's go over to Jim Watts in Sydney. Over there, Jim. The sun is so bright, it's really hard to see the sky. Joe. People have Get yourself down the tube. Uh, talk to some people who are ignoring this whole damn thing. Look, I'm making it entertaining, will you, love? All right, I'm trying. Just a few minutes. How long do you think you'll... We'll be back for you, Dr. Bill. How long will he be up for? At least 24 hours. Shame we'll miss the light show. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's about to start. 
I've often dreamt about that night. About what it would have looked like. Some said it was glorious. As if the heavens ignited. And God himself was conducting the show. It started and it's unbelievable. We never expected anything like this. And we get reports that it's the same all over the world. Is this us or is it them? Come on, people, why are we losing these? And there's another one. Can someone tell me what's going on? the time, the hour and the minute, when the world went dark, when the world changed, when the clock started ticking, counting down. Are you a doctor? Yeah, 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 but no. I need you to look at my eyes. Yeah, but I'm not that kind of a doctor. What? What's happening? What's going on?
Yes! Is that you? No. No, it's it's not Matthew. They did something to my eyes. I, I need to find the doctor. There aren't any. I want to go. I listen, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go and find out what's happened, and then I'll come back for you, okay? Oh no. No. Please. Please. I will come back. And you, you operated on me yesterday, on my eyes. I can see. Yes, I, I, I can see. I can see. What's, what's happening? What's happening? Everybody's blind, but not you. What? I don't understand. What do you mean, everyone's blind? It must have been the sun, the solar storm. Everyone's staring at the sky. You couldn't watch it, could you? I'll get help. I'll get help. Look, there must be someone who knows what's going on. I'll get help. Let me go. Listen to me. Let me go. Listen to me.
you. It's mine. Oh, yes, here it is. Mom. Over. Oh, 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 sorry. Can you see? <sighs> I can't remember. I don't understand what's happened. We can't see. Nobody can. Oh, 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 oh. Um, have you heard any news? The TV and radio went up. But if there are more people like you... What do you mean, like me? Come home with us. Please. I'd like to. Please. Can you see for us? Can she see? Can you? I have to get home myself. I... Come with me. Help me no, first. Let me let go of me. Help me first. Then you can I go. I'll help with you, all right? I know her voice. Help then you can go. She's on the radio. Huh? I mean it! It's Joe Payton. She's getting away. Joe? Where are you going? Please. She's Get going. Away. Please. Go! Turn away! <gasps> Ryan, wait! been a bit crazy everywhere. What are you doing? You're drunk. No. <laughs> Dang. Not anymore, I'm not. <laughs> Get in the car. <laughs> Officer. <laughs> Dear, sir, I need... I need help. Go to the police station. What's she done? Under arrest. No! 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 Where Please, is she? He's got my gun! Hold that man! Please! Please! He's got my gun! Where is she? I didn't think there was anyone else. Anyone to help. You okay? Mm. Thank you. I'm, I'm Joe. Bill. Bill Mason. Will you be all right? Mm. Where are you going? Whitehall. I have to find someone in authority who knows what's happening. I mean, who knows how long the power's gonna last. The power? Isn't that the least of our worries? The electricity on the farms could go down. The farms? The Triffid farms.
Nothing, no network, shit. Is it just us? That's what we need to find out. How come you missed the show? I was in the hospital for an eye operation. What is that? This is a secure area. Oh, we're sighted. There are no sighted left. Oh, you're what, 5'10", ginger hair, and you look just as scared as the rest of us. Please let us in. Uh, uh. If I let you in, will you check if there's anyone else inside? Why are you letting us in? We need help. Move, water. Stay where you are. Sergeant! Let us through. That's enough, now get back. Why aren't you letting us in? Uh, now. Stay where you are. Get back on my mental shoes. I can't even see. Now get back. Get back from the gates. I've got his gun. Get on. Ah! Government blind policemen shooting each other. I've got to get to my dad. I've, I've got to make sure he's okay. Well, you must have family, right? Someone close? No. I have to get going. Where to? Back to where I work. Oh, well, it's falling apart, and you have to check on some plants. Shepherds aren't just some plants. Listen, say goodbye and.
need to get a car. Then we go together. Please. This one. this soon. Doesn't make sense. Who did this? Triffords. I don't understand. You're, you're telling me that Triffords can move? And do this to people? Yes. Keep your eyes open and keep moving. The orchard's been breached as well. What is this place? It's where the Mill Triffids are confined. Or it should be. Stay close. Was she your... She was my friend. You people knew. You knew that they were dangerous, and yet it never got out. Triffid oil saved the world from global warming. Do you think it would have made any difference if you had known? Betty. You have a generator. Till the trip oil runs out. There's a sofa, you should get some rest. What are you gonna do? I need to get my research before it's too late. Well, will you take me to my dad's? He, he, he lives near Windsor. It's miles from the trip it comes.
I spent my whole life working with Triffids, trying to make sense of them. And now my obsession seemed more important than ever. What's that sound? Triffid recordings. They're communicating. So, what are they saying? It's what I've been trying to work out. It's the basis of my research. This device contains years of Triffid's communications. I've proved there's signs of evolving intelligence, but so far I've failed to work out what they're saying. And now they're free. Come on, let's get your dad. How many farms are there? Across the world, tens of thousands. In England, 500. Each one holds about 20,000 triffids. 10 million meat-eating plants. How do they reproduce? The same as other plants. The males pollinate the females. That's why it was essential that we controlled the males. And now they're out. Yeah, they're everywhere, oh, Joe. You can't be dead. You bastard! He's my dad! Give it to me! <gasps> We stay here, they'll kill us too. Come on. They're all around us, Joe. We have to go. Bill, stop the car. when we knew that our day was over and the day of the Triffids had begun. We need to warn people.
This is an emergency broadcast from the BBC in London. Most of the people in the United Kingdom, and we believe the world, have been struck blind. There is no government, but there is a bigger threat to us at this time. With me is Triffid expert, Dr. Bill Mason. Dr. Mason, what do people need to know about the Triffids? They're extremely dangerous. And how are they dangerous? What do they do? Well, Triffids are large, carnivorous plants that can move independently but because of the blinding they've escaped and so they're no longer being fed on the farm they've started they've started to um we know that they have started to attack and eat people they have a fatal sting capable of reaching uh, up to 15 feet and they make a distinctive rustling, tick-tocking kind of noise. So if you hear or, or see one, you, you must keep, keep your distance. Where do you think that the Triffids are heading? They'll gravitate towards the cities, to where the most abundant source of food is. Us. So if you are sighted, then arm yourselves and do what you can to protect those around you, especially the blind, and tell anyone that you can. My parents were botanists, and they researched the triffids in, in Zaire. I was six, so I was with them. It was my father that saw with um, some genetic modification the tremendous opportunity for oil production. So he brought them back? Well, if this is his fault. Hmm. Well, no. He provided us with a cheap, endlessly replaceable, pollution-free source of fuel that solved the energy crisis. He saved the world. Hmm. My mother felt differently. Where are they now? Well... I haven't seen my father for years. We don't get on. And my mother, she died in Zaire of a Triffid sting.
Hello? Who are you? I'm from MI5. I'd like to see the Prime Minister. This is where he lives, isn't it? You'll need to make an appointment. Of course. Hilda. Who are you? I'm Torrance. I'll just have a look round. You couldn't. Excuse me. Excuse me. Door. Do you know what? It's all the same. As you stand here. Morning, Helga. You can't stay here. Well, oh, the PM's not coming back, I take it. Out running the country. He's gone, they, they all have. Well, then it's just you and me. There must be others. There's an emergency broadcast on the radio. Well, play it for me, Helga. Dr. Bill Mason. Dr. Mason, what do people need to know about the Trippies? They're extremely dangerous. And how are they dangerous? What do they do? Well, Trippids are large, carnivorous plants that can move independently, but because of the blinding... I haven't got anything to eat, have you? So no A sandwich? Farm. I'll make it. We started to, um... Then we can go for a little drive. Hmm? City. A signal. Yeah. This means there's other people. People like us, pe people who can see. from the city. Bill, who is that? <coughs> Hello? Hi. I'm Torrance. Heard on the radio there's a bit of panic developing about Triffids. Judging from the mess here, I think they're right. Help yourself to guns. 
do with some weapons. I'm Joe. You on your own? Why'd you ask? We're going to the city. We believe there's a sighted group there. Tell you what, why don't you come and join my group? Who's in it? Me. I think we're fine on our own. OK. See you down the road. Torrance. Yeah. How come you can see? Luck. I'm a naval engineer. Miniature submarines. Got caught doing a routine maintenance when all that went up. People I was with. Oh. Enjoy the weather. Joe. Enchanté. Belt on, please, soldier. <laughs> Is this justice to leave the rest of your fellow citizens in the dark? You think you're special? These people aren't good enough? Where's your British sense of fair play? Look at them! Are we supposed to just stand by and let them die? We have to help! I've done everything I can to keep these people fed and safe. But I can't do it on my own. Everyone who can see can easily look after those who can't. One day they'll find a cure, and these people will find out who helped and who looked away. These people have every right to live, the same as you. That's enough. You and your friends must move along. We're not going anywhere. Come on, guys. Release her. My man will shoot. Shoot the blind? You wouldn't dare. Over their heads, one round. Believe me, the next one's quit. Don't you have any compassion? You don't deserve to have your sight. None of you do. It's not over. What should we do? I need to know if these people can help. Go ahead. Crawl in there with the rest of the cowards. There are 30 of us so far, all sighted, and another 10 highly skilled blind. We expect more will come. And we have our own generator. Who are you? Michelle Beadley, I work for the Home Office. So there is still a governor? No, there's just us. If you want to join us, you'll have to pull your weight. To do what exactly? To forage for essential supplies. The Colonel has lists of what we need. And what plans will be made to defend yourselves against the Triffids? I'm more concerned about our nuclear power stations than Triffids, Mr. Mason. It's Dr. Mason, and nuclear power stations can't move. Triffids can. The Triffids will stay on the farms. They won't, and they're not. Excuse me? I've read the official research. In the that event... research was commissioned by the Trifoil companies. Triffids need food, meat. If it's not there, they'll go and get it. 
and the biggest available source of food is us. Large, slow, easy to avoid. Not if you're blind. Trivets have been genetically modified to die within three years, and the male plants are under strict control on the farms. Kingston Farm was sabotaged, and the male plants have escaped. And when they start to pollinate the females, the situation will be catastrophic. Which will take, what, months, weeks? It could be days. But whatever emergency plans there were, they clearly can't be implemented. Therefore, our, our priorities remain as food, fuel, weapons, and accommodation. And what about the Triffids? Well, you're the expert. What would you do? Don't worry. I promise to look after you, and I will, one way or another. Coca. I'm Torrance. Torrance. Hey. I was driving. I saw you. Uh, need any help? You bet. The blind won't survive on their own, so we're planning to round up all the sighted we can, if they want to help or not. Have you seen Dr. Mason? No. Come to order. Okay, let's begin. <clears throat> we face what happened to Britain when the Romans left, 1,600 years ago. Everything will crumble. Roads, railways, hospitals. This is our proposal. We find somewhere in the country, and then we start to rebuild. Have you had news from other countries? Is there any help on its way? We think what happened here happened everywhere. We're not expecting any help from outside. And what about the blind? I'm afraid we have no plans for them. We have no alternative. We are too few, they are too many. We can't look after them, we can't feed them. I see no way to save them. And no point in dying with them. It's wrong. It's so wrong. Bill? You're leaving? Where are you going? Go to my father's place in Sherling. But I've got to work out how to deal with them. Well, you better go then. Look, it's not my first choice. It's my only choice. You know, I'm clutching at straws. He may not even have survived. I don't know. His, you know, his original research, it might help. But we're running out of time. I'm I, coming with you. Joe, Joe. You may not agree with Beadley, but you'll have a much better chance of survival if you stay with her. She's wrong. What they're doing is ruthless. Joe, you need people. I don't need these people. You'll be safer with her. Joe, we were an accident. Oh, we met by accident, but... We stayed together on purpose, didn't we?
Yeah, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Uh, Can you stand? Yeah. Hold on. Attention all sighted. Each of you will be handcuffed right. to a blind citizen. Put me down. It is now your job to keep them alive. Oh. Right. Move. I'm Jeff. Sorry about all this. Don't be. It's not your fault. I used to be a mechanic. Want a bad old life as long as it lasted. Well, I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. Why, because you can still see. <laughs> Rather you than me, mate. Hey, sorry about the strong arm tactics, but you weren't going to help us of your own accord. Coco, what's going on? You've been splitting the groups. Decided it'll take care of the blind. Make sure they have food and shelter. We're going to divide London into sections. And what do you plan to do in these sections? I mean, about the Triffids. The Triffids aren't our priority. Yeah, well, they should be. We've seen what they can do, and so has he. What matters now is organization. What's your role in all of this? My role? I thought you said you were on your own. Then I met Major Coco. He's planned to take over London. Interest. Sorry, Joe. All right, guides will take you to your sections. Let's load up, guys. Look after Helder for me, Joe. Here we go, on the truck. Double time, everybody. Torn, come on, help out. Guides will lead you to your sections. Let's load up. Here we go. I'll get moving when I'm good and ready. Get in the truck. Here we go. Coker sent sighted and blind to forage for food and water. His heart was in the right place, but he was ignoring the threat of the encroaching Triffids, delaying me from getting to Sherning and the solution I was hoping to find there. Taking over your pub, psycho. What's your name? Vronsky. You gotta pay. <laughs> we don't gotta do nothing. What you doing, you prat? That's disturbing. What is it? It's Triffid recordings. Something I've been working on. Discover anything interesting? Maybe. As long as it isn't attracting them to us. I thought Major Coker said they weren't important. 
Major Coco wants to talk to you, Joe. Me? Why? Read your name off the list. Realize you're behind the emergency broadcast. He'd like you to do another. Seems you're the famous Joe Platon. Always thought there was something special about you. No, I just work on the radio, that's all. Well, that's the thing. See, Major Coco was in the US Air Force. Appreciates the, uh, the uh, importance of clear communication. Good for Major Coco, but um, tell him I'm fine where I am. Look, Joe, people know your voice. We think we can get a transmitter going, and you can talk to the people. You can reassure the afflicted, just like you're doing with Hilda. Yeah, well, thanks for the offer, but like I said, I'm fine where I am. You heard what she said, Torrance. Major Coco's going to be very disappointed. Seems you prefer hanging out with Dr. Mason than saving your country. How'd you know about this place? Charlie led us here. I worked here half my life before the blinding. Night watchman. Not much of a night watchman now, are you? All right, Osman. Rope up. Coca. Coca. Will you shut up about the triffids and help? Charlie. <sighs> You're the watchman? Stay here and watch. Three groups. Osman, Cheryl, Vronsky, get water. Joe, Hilda, canned goods. Bill, medical supplies. Got it? You think? Keep your eyes open. That's supposed to be funny. Torrance, come in. It's Coker. Breathing you, Major. I need you to come to the warehouse and give us backup. This place is full of supplies. Understood. We're gonna need a bigger car. So what was it like being a star? Shut up. Rosky, come on. All right, make it Shut quick. Up. Jeez. What's that smell? Rotting meat.
Will someone tell me what happened? She's gone. to get to shining with or without me. Hey! Your man, Osman, is a coward. And I want Bill Mason on our team. You get him whatever he needs to deal with the Triffids. Of course, mate. Excellent idea. Leave it to me. Kids, we're leaving.
Carol, you okay? I'm all right. <clears throat> well, if it wasn't for Bill, I wouldn't even be here now. Yes, he's, he's quite the hero, isn't he? And he's our only hope against the Triffids. Uh, you wanted to see me? I did. Uh, <clears throat> about the radio broadcast for Major Koga. I've changed my mind, and if there's anything I can do to help, I'd like to do it before Bill and I leave for his father's. Well, um, he will be delighted. What would be fantastic is if you could record something right now. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. After you. Hey, Jeff. What are you doing? I'm leaving. Is uh, Coke enough? I'm going to see him there. Ah. This is Radio Britain, and I'm Joe Clayton, coming to you live from London. Please listen carefully to the following announcement. Triffids are now known to have reached major cities across the country. As you know, these plants can and will kill humans. Therefore, Major Coca has asked that every citizen, both sighted and unsighted, help to fight them. Please register with army personnel who will make themselves known to you in your area. Hello, Pete. This is Joe Clayton coming to you live from London. Major Coco has asked that every citizen, both sighted and unsighted, come on, to fight them. Come on, come on. making themselves known to you in your area. I repeat, this is Joe Clayton coming to you live from London. Can you come with me, miss? Uh, yeah, sure. Mason. Mason. Mason! Oh. Mason. It's Coker. Coker? Yeah. What happened? He got shot. Where are we? Being taken up to the heath. Why are we going to the heath? Orders. From Torrance. It's all Torrance. He's running the whole show now. Where's Joe? Torrance has her, too. Wow. Is this yours? This is yours. Say thank you. Oh, well, thank you, but there's no need. I'm only trying to help. You know, I'm tired. I, I think I'm going to go back and join the others. Uh, thing is, you may not want to uh, just moment. What's going on, Torrance? Something's happened. Okay, Major. 
Major Coker needed Bill to help out on another terrific attack, and he's saved the lives of many blind people. He's dead, Joe. <sighs> they found these things amongst his stuff. I want to see him. No, you don't. I mean, it was a vicious attack. Major Coker says he's very sorry. Go on and chuck him out. Do it. Give me the damn keys. Now move in front of me. Get in front of me. Do it.
Bill Mason alive. Is he? When you're better, you'll see clearly. I was thinking today about missed opportunities. Sometimes you have to act. I'm Joe Platon, and you're not alone. Just because the whole world's going crazy doesn't mean you can't have a little bit of fun. Oh, oh. Outside these walls is chaos. Try shoot Mason. Maybe we'll have to accept that Triffids really are the dominant species. I'll get you a male Triffid. Mother Nature's finally taken her revenge and reclaiming the planet.